Hi everyone, welcome to the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. On the show today, we're gonna make butter chicken in the Chef Robot. So we unboxed this last week, and when I did that, we looked at the recipe library that's included with this cooker, and everybody saw the butter chicken. They sent me so many messages about, Amy, you need to cook the butter chicken. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be using the uh, Chef Robot cooking food processor to make butter chicken. So let's do this. So last week we took a look at the Chef Robot. We unboxed it, we set it up on our Wi-Fi, and we did an initial look at the recipe library. What's interesting about this cooker is it is a food processor. It has a chopping blade in there, but it's also a cooker. And it is guided by a full recipe library that uh, you can get through their app. You can even get on their website. But you choose it on the app, you send it to your uh, chef robot, and it guides you through the whole cooking process. It tells you the ingredients, it tells you how to prepare it, it tells you the weights, it has a scale in here, so each time you add an ingredient, you weigh it, you tear it, you weigh it, and you go on to the next one. This makes your recipes more precise, and this thing is just downright fun, right? If you want to take a look at that unboxing, I'll put links up here and down in the description. I'll also put Amazon links for the Chef Robot so you can take a look at it. These types of appliances are starting to take the U.S. by storm. They've been used over in the U.K. for a long time. A lot of people have them, um, and they're finally making their way to the U.S. And let me tell you, they are absolutely fun. So today we're going to be making the butter chicken. A lot of people saw that when we set up our uh, chef robot, they were like, cook the butter chicken. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get the ingredients over here and let's fire up the chef robot. Okay, so we have everything set up. The chef robot is ready to go. I'm going to open the app. And we're going to be doing the butter chicken and we're going to hit cook and that is going to pair to the chef robot and the recipe is going to come up. So it's going to give you all the ingredients as a preview. It'll give that to you on the phone as well. So we're going to start the cooking process. So one of the th great things that the chef robot has is a built in scale. So we're going to go ahead and tear it out. We're going to make sure it's zero and we're going to add the ginger. And I'm adding a little extra because I like it a little bit more spicy, right? So we're going to add the onions. Okay, so we have our onion in there. And we're going to add three cloves of garlic. Five cloves. And we're going to add our carrot. We're going to add the lid with the measuring cup. And we're going to hit play for this first cycle. When it's done, we hit next. We're going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. So we're going to add 2.8 ounces of butter or thereabouts. So we added the butter. And we're going to add the lid back on. And we're going to hit play. And this is going to go for five minutes. This is the time, temp, and the speed. 
Okay, so next up, we're gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. Look at how easy this is. It just walks you through the whole recipe. So we're gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. Next. Okay, so we're gonna put into cor coriander, black pepper, tons of seasonings, cardamom, Paprika. We got some cinnamon. We have turmeric. This is going to give us a beautiful color. Salt. Garam masala. Brown sugar. Add the lid. You guys should smell it in here. It smells amazing. So this is just going to stir for 10 seconds. Gonna scrape the sides of the bowl. So we're going to add some boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're going to be adding 0.88 of an ounce of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna add some tomato puree, 3.53 ounces. Or thereabout. So we're adding a cube of chicken broth, but I'm using better than bouillon. We're going to add some tomato pulp, which I'm just adding some diced tomatoes. And I just took the juice out of the can. So we're just putting the actual tomato in here. I'm going to add the lid. And it's going to cook for 12 minutes. Okay, we're going to remove this. Whoa! Wow, the color of that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Ooh. Scrape the bowl. Mmm, it smells so good. Wow. We're going to add some fresh cream. Now, I'm allergic to dairy, so I'm just going to add some almond milk. Add the lid. And the measuring cup. And we're gonna go play. And this is gonna cook for another six minutes. Okay, so we're going to um, get it out and put it over some rice. So let's see how this looks. It smells fantastic. The color is really nice. Ooh, it looks good. 
So let me get some rice and we'll plate it up. Okay, I have some rice here. We're adding our butter chicken. So the recipe was really easy. Um, it made it so easy to make this. The chef robot did. The only thing I'm thinking is the chicken sort of broke up, you know, because there's a blade in there. So it's not exactly like traditional butter chicken where you'd have pieces of chicken in there. Um, but I think based on how this looks and smells, I'm not gonna be too mad about that. <laughs> so let's see. It's a really nice color. It smells so good in here. Mmm. It's really tasty. Of course, because I can't put the dairy in there. It's not totally like a traditional butter chicken. And it did break up the chicken. It like shredded it, but it's still really good. Mmm. Really nice. This is a really delicious meal. The chef robot did a great job, made it so easy. And I really think something like this takes you out of your normal comfort, comfort zone. Because a lot of people have like, you know, 10 recipes that they cook all the time, stuff that's fast and easy. But something like this chef robot might expand your cooking quite a bit. Mm. <laughs> particularly with the variety of the recipes in the library. So cooks, this is taste delicious. Thanks for joining me.